In this video, we'll balance the equation NaOH plus FeBr3. This is sodium hydroxide, and we have iron 3 bromide. We'll also take a look at the type of reaction. So if we look at the type of reaction first here, we have sodium and iron, and they're switching places. We have sodium hydroxide, but we end up with sodium bromide. Start with iron bromide, we end up with iron hydroxide. So this is a double displacement reaction. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. One sodium, we have one hydroxide. We're going to treat this OH. It's a polyatomic ion. It's here, and we have hydroxide over here. We're just going to treat that as one thing. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker. You get the same answer either way. So one hydroxide, one iron, and then three bromine atoms. In the products, one sodium, the one hydroxide times three. So we have three of those, one iron, and one bromine. So you see it's a lot neater, it's quicker, and again, you get the same answer. It looks like we have three hydroxides here and one here. If we put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide, one times three, now we have three sodium atoms, but the one hydroxide times three, that'll balance the hydroxides. We could just put a three in front of the sodium bromide, one times three, that would balance the sodiums, and three goes to everything, so one times three, that also balances our bromine atoms. And we're done. This is the balanced equation for NaOH plus FeBr3. If we wanted to write the states, sodium hydroxide, strong base, that's going to be soluble. Iron 3 bromide, bromides in general are soluble. We have a sodium compound, very soluble. But hydroxides, except a few of them like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, they're in group 1. In general, hydroxides are insoluble. Write a solid after that. So that'll be our precipitate. That'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So those are the states. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus FeBr, sodium hydroxide plus iron 3 bromide. And again, this is a double displacement reaction. Our iron hydroxide is the precipitate. Thanks for watching.